Good morning, everyone. It was actually fantastic to hear Simon say, hey, Microsoft's in, but you succeeded. No, actually, it was uh, truly great to hear that. Uh, so I'm Rohan Kumar. I'm the general manager of the database systems group at Microsoft. So you know, SQL Server, all our SQL path-related services in Azure, so Azure SQL Database, Azure SQL Data Warehouse. And then most recently launched you know, path services uh, with Postgres and MySQL. Uh, so those are a part of the database systems group uh, team that I lead. Um, and it's great to be here, you know, be with all of you at the Postgres Open 2017 conference. And since this is my first time, uh, you know, being sort of joining the community, thought we'll, you know, take uh, the opportunity of the keynote. Thank you very much for that, by the way, and share a little bit about what inspires me, our motivation, uh, and you know, uh, what we hope to achieve by being a part of this community. Um, Tanmay, Zora, Mohammed. These are three developers. So, so what's so special about them? Like, why do they stand out? Tanmay started coding at the age of five and is today one of the youngest developers in the world. Zora, at the age of seven, wrote an end-to-end -end mobile application, uh, uh, for a mobile game application, and today is one of the youngest game programmers in the world. And Mohammed, believe it or not, at the age of six, started writing web applications, right? Uh, when I think about when I was at their age, while my memory is a little weak, I'm pretty sure I wasn't coding, right? <laughs> and while these three are absolutely, there's no question that they're very gifted and very talented individuals, there's a lot more that goes in. They have a lot of tools at their hand right now. It significantly accelerates their pace of learning, right? Now, before I get into what I mean by that, let me share a little bit. I mean, that's me from my undergrad days back in India several years ago. Uh, but when I was uh, doing my undergrad, I got my degree in computer science. Uh, this was back in like mid to late 90s. Most of my coding and you know, development experience came through actually reading books, you know, attending classes of professors, going to the libraries, fairly limited amount of computer time and you know, uh, going on the internet and sort of being a part of groups. But if you take a look at after you know, graduating, you know, came, was lucky enough to come to the US, got my master's, and then finally got hired as a software engineer at Microsoft about 18, 19 years ago. And that was a game-changing moment, because inside of Microsoft, it's like you know, how the open source community is, right, of developers, where we share with each other, we learn from each other, we exchange code, we give out ideas, we brainstorm on whiteboards. All you have to do is like, figure out somebody to go talk to. And that, that community, essentially really accelerated my own pace of learning. And you know, when I, when I look at community, open source communities like yourselves, like the Postgres, it's actually very heartwarming to see because there's no company boundaries. You all come, you, you know, work at different companies, come together, you know, what a single day of learning at such a conference can do is phenomenal what you can take back, uh, you, you know, when you go back to your place of work. And that's why, and the other thing that, you know, what we've seen is communities like that are strong, are the very reason why the products that they support have a much, much longer lifetime. So it's actually very, very important to have a very healthy and a vibrant community. So it's great to see that getting started and you know, getting to go. Now, you know, even, even you know, like I said, even within Microsoft, we have this. I've seen this with like, uh, other broader communities around open source, like we've start, now actually have SQL Server running on Linux as an example, so we're sort of you know, becoming a part of that community as well. And it's really fantastic to see that. Now there's a lot of, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of you who are curious about, you know, given Microsoft's heritage, where we come from, why are we interested? Like why did we actually go build a Postgres service on Azure? The reality is at the core of our value prop, it is really about for us meeting customers where they are. You know, like I, in my role now, land up spending a lot of time with customers and there is a significant demand for Postgres. You know, when we go and speak, and I've actually seen this increase quite a bit in the last few years. So for us, it was actually a no-brainer, right? It's, we, we, we pride ourselves in being a database company, not just a SQL Server company. So this, this is, that really is as simple as exactly what our customers desire. And we really want to sort of work with the community, work with all of you, to actually learn from you to see how we can build a product that actually can serve the needs of our customers. Really, that's the reason why uh, we actually went ahead and became a part. Now, I'm sort of also a, uh, I grew up as a database developer, core systems programmer. I started off at, you know, working in operating systems and graduated up to on the database kernel side. And uh, it's been interesting. So, you know, when I started hearing a lot about Postgres, 
you know, I installed it and started playing around it to see, you know, what, uh, what kind of features stood out. And the one thing that I was very particularly impressed with was the extensibility architecture, and I was playing around with the GIS extension for Spatial. And, you know, the performance and scale of that, by the way, I don't know who uh, this thing did, is pretty impressive. And, and having worked on, you know, building extensibility within SQL as well, we did that with CLR back in 2005, it's very clear to me that the approach that Postgres took was a better one. Right, so that actually for me stood out as a key learning, and even the strictness of the SQL standard that you're adhering to and all, I think in the long run is gonna pay off a lot better. So great job there. Uh, so what's our commitment to Postgres? And this is something that you know, I and my team take pretty seriously. Right? For us, it's not just about taking this and you know, hosting it in Azure, making it a pass service, and then just calling it a day. We truly, I hope it sort of comes across even in the future with the actions that we take, we really want to be a part of the community. We really want to learn from you. We want to share our experiences as we are building this. And hopefully, like, if we all agree, of, then you know, we can also sort of contribute back if you've seen the set of changes that we're proposing are worthy enough. But we truly, really want to be a part of the community and be with you. Uh, so I won't sort of spend a lot more time on what specifically we've done with Azure Database or Postgres. Sonal Kamath and my team, he actually has a session later today, which I encourage you to go watch. I mean, there's some really, uh, good learnings by you know, making it available as a pass service in Azure. And, uh, and you've already actually engaging a lot more with the community to actually share our experiences and learn how to get better. And finally, you know, like I said, there is, this, this is the thing that I, one of the things that I feel super excited about is just in talking to a lot of the customers, almost every company that I speak to is extremely worried about getting disrupted. Right, they look at the next Airbnb that's gonna come or the next Uber that's gonna come and disrupt their specific industry. And a lot of this is happening because of the power of data, right? And they, so the, a lot of the conversations go, you know, we, I, we hear a lot about this AI, machine learning, analytics, how do we go do this? The center of all of that essentially is the data platform, right? And there have been lots of evolutions. You had the internet in the 80s and the early 2000s, the mobile revolution, I truly believe the next 10 to 15 years is the time for the data professional. It is your time. It is our collective time together. So that's all I have. Thank you so much. Again, thank you again for you know, allowing us to be a part of the community. And we look forward to a lot of things together.